Hi everyone, let's get settled in, go and make yourself a cup of tea, coffee, or in my case, I'm having a nice cappuccino. And snow begins to rustle, and light... So we're back on to Creative Fabrica, and as you can see, there are a lot of Christmas designs. Uh, I have a link down below if you want to check that out, there's 30% discount. Go ahead, it's for a full subscription and that includes every single month for as long as you're subscribed. Um, just check it out. As you can see, there's so many Christmas designs here and you don't have to just sublimate or print the typical Christmas uh, toilet roll jokes onto toilet paper. You can use pictures, photos, anything really, whatever suits you. You can decorate it how you wish. Um, so yeah, I downloaded a few designs, some of which I'm not going to use in this video, but I have found another toilet roll uh, set and I'm going to use that instead of the one that I used in my previous video, which I used HTV vinyl. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and it's so simple. You do not need sublimation ink, you do not need a sublimation printer, all you need is your standard inkjet printer, that's it, and some special paper, that's it. Uh, nothing more and, a, and an iron a household iron you don't even need a heat press so for those of you out there that have not got a heat press have not got a sublimation printer this is going to be one of your um, go-to options so I'm printed it out I've done it in Cricut design space it's easy for me um, I've done all the sizing usually a typical toilet roll is 10 centimeters um, cutting around now um, and then it will all be ready to pop onto. This is the paper I'm going to be using, okay? It says it's dark t-shirt transfer paper, but it's actually ideal for this job in hand. Um, it's uh, basically, it's a bit like a, a vinyl that you can print onto. Um, and it's white, okay? So now I'm going to lay out my toilet paper and I am going to pop that on and position it where I want it. I'm peeling off the backing paper always remember with this paper you only you don't need to mirror your um, design just print it as you would any design okay and I'm placing it now where I want it when trees appear in windows and streets are filled. so now I'm laying over the topper paper you'll get this with your pack and all you do now is iron or heat press but you don't need a heat press just hold that iron on there, I've got it on a hot heat, and apply a bit of pressure, and I will actually show you how long I left that pressure on there by um, not doing a time lapse on this part of the video. And be with you. So that was approximately 70 seconds. It probably didn't need that long. Now we've got to let it cool before we peel this off, which I did. And you're gonna see that the print on here is quite dark. Now, my printer needs sorting out. The colors aren't quite right. And this is why it basically does not show any of the red. I had problems with it the other day, so I was trying to clear all the nozzles, but I hadn't done it before this video. But I'm sure you won't have any problems. Your inkjet printer, use it as you normally would and should be fine but that turned out pretty good and it really does stand out and I can imagine if my printer was okay the red would have really popped as well maybe I'll have another go at it but yeah I'm really really pleased with that it looks quite nice Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. 
Uh, I will leave a um, description of the paper that I use down below. And like I said, you don't need anything except for the paper and iron. And that's it, really. So thank you for watching. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.